Sometimes I'm so mad I can't even breathe. If there's ever been a time in my life to just say, to hell with it, it's now. It started out as a small idea. What if I could just go out there and put on a show for them? My own show again. I can't wait to have my own show again. As soon as Conan had the idea to put this legally prohibited tour from being funny on television together, I knew I wanted to document it. I knew I wanted to make a movie about it. Conan was at a point in his life, he'd been doing the late night show for many years, he'd been planning the Tonight Show for many years, he'd been you know, working towards it, he'd been doing it, and then all of a sudden the rug is, is pulled out from under him and he has to improvise. And that interested me. I wanted to capture an artist in the middle of an improvisation and to see how an artist improvises and how an artist deals with frustration and disappointment. And also to see how a show is put together. It, it was an opportunity to really see from the ground up how that is put together. So immediately I knew I wanted to capture that. At the beginning, uh, I think he, you know, he was bewildered and obviously disappointed and, and, and angry. And you see him go through all that. But also early on in the film he says, I'm happiest when I'm working with writers and working things out. And you see that too. You see that, you know, when he's at work and when he's goofing around with his writers and when he's coming up with material and when he's teasing them, uh, he does seem like he's at home. It was, it was challenging to capture as much as I could on the tour because for, for most of it, uh, I was alone. Um, I didn't really have much of a crew with me. And he's a man on the move. He's always, you know, like the title says, Conan O'Brien can't stop. He's always, he's always going. So the challenge was just to sort of keep up with him and to capture what I could. I don't know what it is that, that doesn't allow Conan O'Brien to stop, but I know it interests me. And I know that is one of uh, the things I wanted to explore in this film. I know performers need that audience. Performers need that feedback. And I know Conan does. And, and that's one of the reasons why he can't stop. He says in the film, uh, I'm like Tinkerbell, without applause I die. I mean, I think, again, Conan really enjoyed himself. I think Conan loved rocking out with his band, and the audience gave him a lot back. It was fun to see him do that stuff. He doesn't get to do that on TV every night when he's hosting his talk show. So to see him do that, and to see, to see just how much he enjoyed that, I think the audience uh, got something out of that as well. I think you get a sense of the real Conan from seeing this film. I think you get a sense of the real Conan from seeing him on television every night. I think that's one of the reasons why Conan's fans are so loyal and why they appreciate him so much is wherever you see Conan, you're seeing the real Conan. He really doesn't have a wall up no matter what he's doing, whether he's doing his job or, or letting me film him. Uh, it's all the real him, and I think people can, can see that, I think people can sense that, and I do think that's why uh, his fans are as loyal as they are. Are you ready to rock? You have 40,000 people in the palm of your hand. I don't know what it would be like to stop. What do you mean, stop? What does that even mean? Okay, and you want me to sign your back? Yes. Ah! Paparazzi!